What is going on guys, it is Steven your Sony Comprehensive Guide back here with another video tutorial and today I'll be showing you how to lock, move, and hide the taskbar on your Windows 10 PC. So before we get into today's video, I just want to note that I'm using a uh, Windows 10 computer for this tutorial. Um, a similar method will work for Windows 8 and Windows 7, but just know that it will be different and I'm just using the latest version of Windows currently, so just keep that in mind. So in my years of uh, Windows uh, PC use, I have uh, had some interesting experiences with the taskbar and you probably have too. Occasionally, it'll just just uh, not be nice and it will hide itself or I will change a setting that doesn't need to be changed and I will accidentally hide it or lock it or move it or make it bigger or uh, any number of horrendous things. So in today's video I thought I would show you how to fix issues like that, how to uh, move it, how to lock it, and how to resize it and get it back if it's gone. <laughs> um, so first we will head down to the taskbar and we will right click on it. If your taskbar isn't there then uh, find a way to get to the control panel uh, and then in there search taskbar settings and it should get you to the screen. So anyways, once we right click onto the taskbar, it'll give us this window right here with a bunch of uh, fun little buttons that we're not going to worry about. So for these down here, by the way, fun fact, you can access the task manager from right clicking the taskbar. Uh, so you can do that. It's a lot easier than going to control delete and uh, doing all that stuff. Anyways, that is not the point of the video. The point of the video are these two buttons down here, the lock of the taskbar and the taskbar settings. So if you have an issue with your taskbar maybe uh, being the wrong size or uh, uh, maybe, uh, I don't know, some weird stuff is going on with it moving around. It could be an issue with the taskbar not locking itself. So right now it's not locked, so I'm going to click away. If I go down to the taskbar, you will see the mouse change to a little um, arrow uh, and line thing. Uh, that means that we can change the size of our taskbar. So uh, if I just move it up and down, it'll get bigger. It's kind of weird. Windows didn't really think about uh, resizing applications and all that. Cortana gets bigger and the search bar does, the Windows button and all that, but this is just not fun over here. Anyways, if it looks like this, right click uh, and then unlock the taskbar and then it should um, appear, your mouse should change to this little thing right here and then you can move it down to its normal size. And of course if you want to make it big and ugly like that, well then you can just do the reverse of that and unlock it and then move it up. So that should fix most of the issues with the size of the taskbar. Uh, if we head back here to our um, little right click taskbar menu, we can head down to the taskbar settings and we'll open up this settings window right here. So we have once again a little option to lock the taskbar, I just explained what that does, so we don't need to worry about that. Below that we have automatically hide the taskbar in desktop mode. Turning that on will just basically make it disappear. Uh, if you're having an issue with maybe your taskbar appearing during full screen, um, like videos or uh, full screen applications, turning off that will help. And then if we want to see it again, we just move our mouse down and it should come up right there. Below that is something I can't show you because I'm not using a tablet, but it's automatically hide the taskbar in tablet mode. This is if you have a two-in-one and you like flip it around and it's in the tablet mode, uh, then it hides the taskbar and it just becomes your desktop screen. Using small taskbar buttons just basically makes the taskbar smaller. So back when I was changing the size of the taskbar and you were wondering how do I make it smaller, well, this is how you make it smaller. You just turn on small taskbar buttons. Here we have taskbar location on the screen. This is pretty self-explanatory. We just move taskbar, have it on the side, have it top of the screen, have it of course on the left. This is more useful uh, if we're using our uh, computer in a tablet mode. Once again, a lot of the taskbar settings regarding movement are more helpful for uh, two-in-one tablet users because that you know it's, it's a little bit easier to use your uh, computer in tablet mode when it's on the side, I'd assume. And then below that we have combined taskbar buttons, and this has to do with how big these icons are here in the taskbar. So if you have always hide labels, which is the default, they just show up as these little icons right here if we do uh, never or when the taskbar is full that basically adds in the little writing if they're open to show like in Chrome or, or Edge what web page we have open um, and then in certain applications what we're doing. I personally find this to make my PC a little bit more cluttered so I usually just hide them. So that's it basically when it comes to uh, movement of the taskbar and uh, size and stuff. One more thing I will go over in today's tutorial is the color of the taskbar. Uh, if for whatever reason you change the color or you want to change the color of the taskbar to match maybe your background or something. We can head over here to colors and then scroll down to show accent color on the following surfaces, this section right here, and uh, we can change it to the start button, the task bar, and the action center, and that'll all change to match the color scheme we have going. So for me, since my background has an uh, orange tint to it, that will match the task bar down here. Obviously, we can change our main color to whatever we want, and it'll match our main uh, default uh, color scheme that is on our computer. Also, fun fact, if you want to change your uh, default app mode, you can, uh, scroll down from the taskbar action center and head down here to the uh, 
default app mode theme change. So this will basically change your background. If you're up late at night, um, you know, doing work on your computer, this will help out a lot. You can just change it to dark mode and woo, there we go. It's dark now. Huh? Look at that. A lot better. And it also changes your katana bar down there at the bottom. So yeah, kind of helpful. Save your eyesight. Pro tip right there for me. So that about does it for this tutorial. If you have any questions or comments about things regarding the taskbar, its size, its color, its shape, um, be sure to leave a comment down below. If you have any suggestions for future videos, any issues that are troubling you, be sure to let me know in the comments down below. And if you enjoyed today's video, be sure to like, subscribe, and uh, all the fun stuff that you normally do. Anyways, I've been Steven, your semi-comprehensive guide, and be sure to have a wonderful day.